Hi everyone, myself and my colleague Colin thought it would be useful to give a weekly um, roundup in terms of market insights based on conversations that we've had with um, candidates and clients alike. Things are obviously changing on a uh, daily basis at the moment um, and we're anticipating some significant changes to the markets in the coming weeks uh, following the announcements um, in the last week from the government. So. Um, as I say, I'm talking to candidates and clients regularly to try and understand um, where opportunities are in the market, who's hiring, who's making plans to hire, um, how businesses are adapting to the current situation um, and, and how businesses have been impacted, whether it's negative or positive. So um, what are we now? Two months in and um, a lot has changed, obviously, uh, for, for every business out there, as I say, whether it's negative or positive. But I am starting to hear about um, plans for recruitment coming up across June and July specifically. And this is particularly um, evident within the agency market, which is um, a part of the industry that we have a very strong footing in. We work with a lot of agencies that have a strong grounding in data driven marketing or specifically analytics. And there seems to be quite a large demand from clients across every industry. Um, they want help. Um, they want to be um, using data to, to drive their decisioning, um, even more so it seems at the moment. And so they're reaching out to retained partners, agencies that they've been working with um, on data projects or marketing projects to help them get through this crisis. So um, I've had that consistently um, in, in terms of feedback from agency clients and, and the workflow still seems to be there. So that's very encouraging. Uh, we always find that marketing agencies are a really good litmus test for the market. Um, they're obviously relying on client spend and, and client um, stability and activity. Um, and as I say, this is a consistent message that I'm, I've, I've been hearing for the last few weeks. On top of that, the industries that I've already talked about that we've seen um, hiring, um, grocery retail, FMCG, pharmaceutical, insurance, are also still hiring and, and making even further plans to bring on more staff across the remainder of the year. So although there are obviously uh, businesses that have been significantly impacted and are making redundancies, um, there are still those pockets of opportunity and hopefully those will um, broaden and grow um, as the UK starts to come out of lockdown. So um, in terms of what we anticipate happening over the next couple of months, um, we do also anticipate the market, the job market, um, <sighs> We hope it's going to pick up as people's attitudes towards going back to work, sending their children back to school um, change and um, potentially loosen a little bit. Um, it's very difficult to predict what's going to happen, but we do think that there will be a slight upturn in the market over the next month or two. So we would like to obviously keep giving you these kind of updates in terms of what we're hearing. And this information, as I say, is not just coming from conversations I'm having with clients, but also I'm talking to lots of candidates who are um, actively seeking work at the moment, whether they are on furlough, they're looking to just move jobs, or unfortunately, if they've been made redundant, you know, they're also our eyes and ears and they're out there applying for jobs. They're talking to other recruiters. They're talking directly to businesses. Um, and there is a lot of activity out there at the moment in terms of hiring. Uh, most of it is, is being done directly, as I'm sure you can imagine and appreciate. Uh, businesses are looking to cut costs when it comes to recruitment. Um, but um, there is, as I say, a significant focus, I think, on the data skills market and also the digital skills market. Um, they seem to be the two skill areas that are in very high demand at the moment, um, I think, for obvious reasons. So the best advice that I've been giving to people uh, and it's ongoing advice really is keep talking to people like me and uh, make sure you're front of mind with recruiters. Um, keep up to date with with market insights and, and changes and movements by talking to us. As I say, we are trying to share information as much as we possibly can. Um, but we're certainly in a very different place to, to where we were a few months ago, I think. Um, you know, people just weren't able to forecast or plan at all because they had no idea what was going to happen. We were in a completely unique and new situation. Um, people have more information now about what the next few months might look like and are able to plan and make plans for um, reopening businesses or going back into the workplace. So the fact that we have a, a some kind of time scale around what that looks like enables people um, to make decisions and gives people confidence to make decisions and, and particularly around um, bringing in new staff. 
So um, there's still obviously a lot of uncertainty, which is um, a very negative thing within the, within the recruitment industry. Um, but, you know, I think, again, my advice to candidates who are looking for jobs at the moment is to think like a recruiter. Make sure you are reaching out to all of those key contacts within the businesses that you're applying to. Keep um, front of mind and keep in contact with industry experts like us and, and you know, peers, people in your network. Um, and be strategic and targeted in terms of the jobs that you're actually applying to, and where you're spending your time. Um, there are um, lots of brands as well that are receiving very high um, numbers of, of applications, as um, my colleague alluded to in a post um, earlier. So it, it might be well worth targeting, you know, small to medium sized businesses that are not quite as, as well known as some of those bigger brands and, and trying to um, spread your risk a little bit and um, make yourself a little bit more busy.